Okay, so we're in section uh, P2 and talking about exponents. Now, I want to talk about what exponents actually are. And to do that, we're going to need to build up uh, starting from just simple addition. If we look at, say, something like 3 plus 4, you start at 0, move 3 places, 1, 2, 3, and then move 4 more places, 1, 2, 3, 4. Where you end up, that's your answer for the addition. Now, things get a little more complicated when signed numbers are involved. Say, 7 plus a minus 3. Well, start at 0, move 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is the move of 7. And then move left, left because of the negative, 3. 1, 2, 3. This is the negative 3. So moving from 0, 7 to the right, 3 to the left, you end up at four. So all addition really is, is just kind of concatenation. Start at zero, move according to the first number, and then move according to the second number, whether that be left or right, corresponding to left if it's negative and right if the number is positive. So that's addition. Subtraction is the following. Instead of starting at 0, we're going to start at the second number. You start at 4. And we're trying to get to 7. So how many steps does it take to get, starting at 4, to get to 7? Well, 1, 2, 3 steps from 5 to 6 to 7. So our answer is simply 3. Starting at 4, it takes you 3 steps to get to 7. And we can also introduce negatives here as well. If we said something like minus 7 minus a minus 3, well, we start at the second number. So we're going to start at minus 3. How many steps? does it take to get to minus 7? Minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, and this will be minus 7. So it took us four steps to the left to go from minus 3 to minus 7. So it's four steps, but four steps to the left, whereas before taking steps to the right meant our answer was positive. So if the first number is to the right of the second, we're going to get a positive answer. In other words, if the first number is larger, we get a positive answer. If the first number is smaller, then we're going to end up with a negative answer. All right. Multiplication.
Well, with addition and subtraction, kind of all of our steps were of length one. Multiplication changes up the size of your steps. Think about three times two as doing three steps of size two. So starting at zero again, one step of two is going to land us on two. We'll skip over three to step two, four. And then once more, skip over five to land on six. We hit six. So taking three steps of size two, or three two steps, lands us six away from zero. Now, how do we handle negatives in this case? Well, negative three steps of size four would just mean instead of going three steps to the right, we're going to go three steps to the left, and these are four steps. So we're going to go from zero to minus four, minus four to eight, and then minus eight to minus twelve. And that lands us on our answer. So the first number tells us how many steps to take to the left or to the right, and the second number tells us, well, what size of a step are we taking? Division. 12 divided by 2. If you noticed, subtraction was kind of a twist on addition. And division will be a twist on multiplication. It's saying if we start at 0, and we land on 12 in two steps, what size step did we take? Well, from 0 to something, and then from that something to 12. And these are equal lengths. So the only thing this could be is 6. We had to go from 0 to 6, and then go another 6 steps this distance again to hit 12. And if we look at this, minus 12, so starting at 0, we're trying to get to minus 12, and we're going to do so in four steps. So one, two, three, four. What's the size of each of these steps if they're all equal? Well, we have to be moving at steps of minus three. We have to be moving left three at each step. So our answer is simply minus 3. Now, in the next video, we'll talk about how exponents are described using these number lines.